Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities, futures, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, and uh, we'll go through the different packages that are uh, available there uh, and want to uh, describe what you get with them. Okay, so you get Bookmap Educational Course uh, that comes with, um, it's a four-part series uh, that also comes with um, uh, access to the advanced live order flow webinars that follow this webinar at 11 a.m. Eastern time here. Okay, there are other resources as well. Now, the, the concept here is that uh, uh, this, this um, webinar is open for the public. Uh, for them to all come in and uh, ask questions. Uh, we do go through some basics about uh, what uh, Bookmap is displaying and some of the order flow uh, and reading it, but uh, that is much more geared uh, in uh, a lot of detail in the uh, advanced order flow webinar. Okay, so anything, uh, anyone uh, that has questions about the platform, this is the place to be. Uh, for those of you uh, interested in uh, understanding order flow, and uh, how to apply it to your trading, then that would be the for the advanced webinar. Uh, you will need to be a, cu a customer to uh, to get access to those. Okay, so we filter out those um, uh, asking about platform and those asking about the um, uh, order flow. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at Bookmap.com uh, and uh, just kind of go through the webinar or the uh, website uh, uh, briefly here. Okay, so uh, there's an intro video at the top, some basic information about bookmap.com uh, or bookmap, and then there's the bookmap uh, NASDAQ total view. So there's bookmap for equities, okay, via NASDAQ total view. It's an excellent data feed. Uh, and then uh, connectivity. So uh, bookmap is a visualization um, a trading platform. Okay, so uh, we are not a data provider. So you will need to have a data provider in order to connect Bookmap to the live markets. Okay, so um, you can see that there are some platforms up here as well, like NinjaTrader, uh, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive uh, Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay, these three are platforms as well, but we connect via the API of these platforms. However, we're a platform just like they are, so you can connect directly through your uh, data provider, CQG, Rhythmic, Gain Capital, IQ Feed, Transact, or Dev Experts for that NASDAQ total view that I mentioned. Okay, and then also Tradevate, which is uh, offering CQG. All right, uh, let's go down a little bit further. Uh, these are the packages, okay? So uh, you can subscribe monthly or yearly to Bookmap, okay? So you can click here and uh, you get a 20% discount if you go yearly. Uh, and then let's go through the different um, uh, options here. So there's digital and global. Okay. Now the uh, we also with this new Bookmap 7.0 uh, uh, beta version, uh, we now connect to uh, the uh, GDAX uh, exchange for digital currencies like like Bitcoin. Okay. We're offering a free Bookmap uh, connecting to one digital currency of your choice. Uh, and that's that's it. That's all you get. But uh, you do get a full uh, view uh, or a full version of Bookmap. Okay. Um, and uh, you get limited support and also just basic uh, education. You don't get the advanced education. All right. Uh, the um, a digital plus uh, thirty seven dollars per month. Uh, what you get with that is a connection to the GDAX uh, up to 20 instruments. Uh, you're able to record and replay that data, okay? Uh, it's uh, 24 hours uh, depth of market, uh, and you get historical data as well, okay? Uh, and then you also get full support and the Bookmap uh, Advanced Education, okay? So that's the Digital Plus. Uh, now, the Global uh, is for uh, everything else, including uh, everything in Digital Plus, including uh, it supports connectivity to futures and U.S. equities. However, we don't provide the data. You, you will have to provide the data, all right? So as, as you can see, there was over 10 different platforms or um, a data fees that we connect to uh, and um, uh, connect to your futures um, 
uh, data through one of them or your uh, U.S. equities through DX feed. Okay. Uh, also, you get the advanced education and um, and support with uh, the global, uh, and that's $49 per month. The global plus is $99 per month, and the difference here uh, are, uh, well, one is the ability to trade right from the book map chart using the one-click trading, uh, and then there are these uh, add-ons here. Okay, and these add-ons are proprietary uh, indicators that we developed for reading order flow. Okay, so not only reading order flow, but also particular players in the order flow. Large lot tracker identifies larger players providing liquidity. Iceberg detector uh, identifies uh, players, larger players using uh, hidden orders, disguising their liquidity. Uh, there's a correlation tracker and there's a couple of different uh, imbalance indicators. Okay, and, and um, uh, you also get the uh, uh, book map uh, education as well as the um, uh, support, okay? All right, if you need a data uh, provider, you can click here, uh, and that will give you, um, uh, there's a few that offer a trial for a couple weeks, so you can do uh, Global Plus or uh, Global uh, and, and uh, with a trial version of, of data if you don't have a broker or data provider. If you can't decide which plan is right for you, there's a complete list here, uh, and you can click on that. Social media, you can follow us here um, at bookmap underscore pro, and uh, you can see we have all sorts of uh, different uh, uh, tweets and retweets and different uh, 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 professionals that uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, here. Just go through it briefly. There's some intro videos here in this playlist. Features and components. Here's the one for Bookmap 7.0 overview. If you want to want to uh, view that one, uh, and then um, uh, the order flow video snippets are these. These are concepts of uh, uh, order flow phenomena that we uncover every day during the advanced order flow webinars. So I would recommend uh, uh, going through some of the intro videos here. Uh, and then some of the features and components to understand what bookmap is uh, if you're new, uh, and then the order flow video snippets. These are important to understand uh, how to read bookmap and how to use it and how it gives you a competitive advantage in your trading. Okay. All right. So that's everything there. Let's jump into bookmap. All right. Looking at the NASDAQ here. All right, coming down into, uh, well, some interesting levels already. Now, um, looks like, uh, you know, coming, we're down below the 7,000 level here, as you can see, and pretty significant volume trading down here. So it uh, looks like uh, uh, we may, uh, well, we'll keep an eye on it here in the order flow, but it uh, looks like it wants to accept there at the moment um, uh, below that 7,000 figure, which is going to be really critical. Okay, well, there, there will be a lot of liquidity. There will be a lot of bashing around in that area. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go over the basics here of what are you looking at in Bookmap. Okay, so we're looking at the NASDAQ E-mini. Uh, and um, uh, basically, uh, this looks like it's com complex here. Uh, it's really not. It's really straightforward. Uh, there are only three elements here on this Bookmap chart. Okay, the first element is just historical best bid and offer. That's it. Okay, uh, there's no candlesticks. There's no derivative of time, price, or volume, or anything like that. It, it's there's no aggregation here. Okay, it's just historical best bid and offer. Uh, now you get the advantage there because you're able to view microstructure uh, due to historical best bid and offer. Okay. Uh, the next element is the, the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer, and that's what these volume dots that you see here. Okay, And we'll get into the specifics in just a minute. Now, the third element here on the chart um, is uh, really uh, the heart of book map um, is the uh, the heat map. Okay, So what we do is you see this colored heat map here with the orange, uh, yellow, white, and blue. Up, same as up here, okay? It's just recording the uh, the dome, the depth of market, and it's showing you where they're bidding and offering in this market, okay? So now you have a complete uh, view of the market with these three elements, okay? You have the uh, uh, price uh, in, in microstructure, no derivative or aggregate, 
gated view, uh, you have the volume that traded very specifically on that historical best bid and offer. And then you also have the uh, uh, evolution here of the auction, okay, the historical view and current view of the auction. So let's go through it here, and I'm going to just show you how it applies to a candlestick chart. And we're going to take off everything else here just to make it uh, simplified. Okay, and we'll zoom out a bit. Okay, here is a candlestick, five-minute candlestick chart uh, within Bookmap. Okay, we offer we also offer a candlestick um, uh, on on the uh, on the chart. So uh, if you're accustomed to that view, we, most of us are. So let me let me explain here. So what's going on in the candlestick? Well, it's open high, low, and close of a five-minute period. It's an aggregate view. Okay. There's all sorts of data that happened uh, or, you know, that occurred or market occurrences within this five-minute period, okay? And we don't have any clue to it because we're not seeing it. It's all disguised within this aggregate view, okay? And that's the problem here. Uh, so we want to see that, uh, that microstructure. So let's turn it on, okay, with just historical best bid and offer. And uh, now we're getting a, a, a very... Uh, a detailed picture. It's very simple, but it's but it's, it's giving us so much more. Okay, so for example, let's talk about some of this microstructure uh, and what's lacking here uh, in the candlesticks. Okay, within this um, uh, ten-minute period, basically. Okay, from 9:30 to 9:40. So this is our our cash open here, immediate move down. There's all sorts of structures here, uh, and uh, we break them and we go lower. Okay, so let me mark them out so you guys can see them. Uh, here is the first structure that we broke from. Okay, it's, here's where we broke from over here, but uh, and then you can see that we came down here. Okay, we went sideways for a bit, we broke lower, we came back and tested where we broke from, and then we kind of were, had a slant to the downside, yet it still is a structure, and then it broke. Okay, and, uh, and this uh, uh, broke pretty hard here. Okay, I mean, there's some little... Uh, you know, tiny microstructures in within these areas here, but uh, uh, nothing really too uh, too significant. Um, the uh, the move to the downside. Look where we come back up and test again. Okay, where we broke from here in this structure, and then we continue on down. We do a little double bottom down here, and then we start to find some buyers. Okay, they come back in and they break above this swing here. Okay, here's another little structure. Etc. So, why are these structures important? Okay. It, well, it gives us um, tremendous insight to who's in control. All right. And I'm going to show you that by uh, let's clear them and uh, let's uh, let's turn on the volume dots. Okay. And let's bring down the size of the volume dots just a hair. Oops. Okay. Okay. So who's who's in control here? Well, I mean, you can see that um, uh, the uh, uh, in, in some of these areas here, the um, well, I mean, there's both buying and selling. I mean, this is the the cash open, so there's a battle going on here, back and forth. Uh, but um, uh, the uh, the sellers really. You know, this one's a little little tougher to read, but right in this area here, we see more volume trading at the lower lows here, uh, and we do not come back up. And note note the trading up here in this little peak right here. Let's zoom in here. Okay, there's very little volume trading here uh, on the uh, uh, some of these peaks to the to the to the top here. Okay, these uh, little microstructural highs here. Okay, starting to exhaust out. Instead, look in these areas here where we see more sellers jumping in here, pulling price down. They're hitting the bid, okay? Uh, and um, uh, they're, they're in control because we've broken structure and we see that there's more volume trading down to the downside, okay? So uh, uh, this gives us insight uh, structurally as well as with the volume, okay? So let's, these are the only two elements we have here on the book map chart at the moment, but let's get into some of the details. 
okay, as I zoom in here, because you can zoom in here in Bookmap. Uh, we can look at, um, we're down at uh, microsecond levels here. So these are millions of seconds, okay? Uh, and why I'm showing you this, because I, I'm, I want to demonstrate that this is uh, not an aggregated view. It's every single market event that occurred, okay, as it came into Bookmap, okay, from your data provider, okay. So uh, we're down now at uh, nanosecond view. These are billions of seconds, okay. Uh, we our software can handle that, okay. We're showing you every single trade, every single market event, okay. This uh, here was a trade for five, okay. I'm sorry, four. The five is over here. Um, so the um, uh, you can use the data tip tool here, and it shows us the date, the time, what was on the bid here at this um, uh, 7,005 uh, price, and then uh, the volume that traded here. Okay, this is uh, uh, the aggressor classification of volume that we're displaying. Okay, so someone hit the market sell button. Okay, for for four contracts. Uh, and they took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay, that's what occurred here. And we just uh, describe it. We plot it onto the chart and uh, very simplistically plot it for you. However, note how uh, how this market is trading. Look at how they're hitting the bid here. Okay, nothing but aggressive sellers. We don't see any buyers up here at all. Okay, that would be a green dot. Uh, and uh, here, here the buyers, we start to see a few on this side. Okay, but the sellers are in control in the, at this point. All right, so here's our best bid and offer, okay, and then the volume that traded on it, and that's what we're just displaying here in Bookmap. But uh, it, it gives us the structure as well as uh, who's in control, uh, more so than a footprint chart, uh, because a footprint chart is going to be aggregated within a candle or rotation candle or you know some some other uh, method. Uh, and uh, yeah, you'll you'll see you know what volume traded where, okay, just like you can see here in Bookmap, but you don't get the context of the microstructure, and that's a, that's a problem, okay, because we want to understand who's in control in these structures. All right, uh, let's see, Jason, cumulative volume, uh, please explain what this is doing and possible uh, to use in your trading. Oh, okay, so the CVD uh, indicator. Well, we, we do have an indicator here uh, in the subchart called the, the cumulative uh, volume. Uh, and um, uh, this here uh, is a very, very, very simple uh, indicator, okay? What it's showing you uh, is the, um, the aggressor, okay? So the, um, uh, you know what, uh, Jason, I'm, let, me, let me cover the heat map here and then I'll, I'll get right into it. All right, but um, uh, we'll get back into the aggressor here, uh, you know, and, and who's in control. And uh, cumulative volume delta is a, is a nice indicator for that, okay? Uh, but uh, let's just uh, cover this, um, the heat map here, okay? So the, um, uh, what we're, uh, so we understand the, these two elements on the book map chart of historical best bid and offer and the volume, okay? Exactly what it's displaying. Okay, uh, down to nanosecond levels. Now, in some of these areas, you'll see a pie chart display like up here. Well, what we're displaying is there's so many transactions that happen so quickly that we need to give you the overall delta and shape of that volume uh, through the pie display. Okay, and uh, so you can see about two thirds of this was aggressive buying here. Now, these guys are going to get stuffed as they're going to get stopped out on the way down here. Uh, but uh, there was some buying up in some of these areas here. It didn't quite exhaust out in, uh, uh, in, well, in some of these little areas it, it did as we looked uh, previously, but then, uh, uh, you, you know, we, we see the, the sellers continue to uh, hit the bid and uh, drive price lower. All right, so uh, now the, the third element on this chart, okay, so we've, we've got just historical best bid and offer, and we've got the, um, uh, the volume. Okay, now let's take off the candlestick chart. Uh, those are the two elements now, and we're gonna add the third. The third comes from the dome. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, our depth of market. Okay, here's our dome and book map, this COB column here, current order book. Here's our best bid and offer, 
And here's our liquidity on the uh, offer and our liquidity on the bid. It's the same in this window here. Here's our best bid and offer. And then we're going to see here when I turn on the heat map. Okay. We're going to see the liquidity. Okay. So high areas of liquidity are painted in this window here. Okay. So uh, here up, up at uh, 94 and a half here, we, we see 74 contracts. And in fact, about half of that is held by one individual actor as our large lot tracker is identifying that. Okay, at the moment, that's the highest area in the in the visible book here. Okay, and we see uh, down here at 88, there's uh, 48 contracts. Okay, so note how, and they just pulled. Okay, and they, they're adding and pulling. Okay, note how it, it flashes in here uh, with the, uh, the heat map. Uh, here, look at this area here. There's 48 contracts now over here. This is new information, okay? They're adding and pulling liquidity, okay? And um, uh, we have a, a reference of it in this window here graphically, okay? But where this really gets interesting is we record that and then plot it onto the chart. So now you have it on the historical chart and we can see exactly how they're behaving in this auction, okay? So note how we just came down into this area here around 87. And uh, they were providing high liquidity here, but they started to pull, okay? And then as price goes away, they, they start to add back in. Well, do these guys have the intent to trade? And the answer is no, okay? That, because they're pulling their liquidity. If they wanted to trade, they'd stay in the book and just get tr and, and trade and transact at this level here, okay? We don't see that. So we're, we're making a distinction in the auction that uh, they're pretty soft down here at 87, okay? Uh, and, um, uh, you know, here's the distinction over here as well. Look at this little area here, okay? Note how they're staying in the book, but actually on both sides here, okay? Trading into this higher liquidity. Uh, and uh, this is what it looks like when they start trading into it here, as you can see, okay? Red dots into this area of high liquidity. Okay, so they pulled some, but uh, uh, they also uh, traded some. Okay, here it is again, trading into high liquidity. Okay, uh, so uh, we're, we're able to very clearly identify those that have the intent to trade and those that do not. Okay, and that's going to help, uh, help you understand what's going on in this auction. And you're able to use now your dome uh, to determine fake liquidity and, and uh, real liquidity as well as we can zoom out, okay? Now you can use your dome on much higher time frames. okay? I know that this 95 area here, well, there's been pretty high liquidity here for a bit, okay? And we're gonna, it sounds like, uh, or looks like we're gonna come up and test these guys right now, and we're gonna see if they stay in the book or pull. And there's our answer, okay? They just pulled, okay? So they do not have the intent to trade here. They wanna, they wanna uh, uh, sell higher. Look how, uh, we're identifying them pulling and then adding up here at the same moment. These have got to be some of the same players. Okay, we're seeing a flip of the book as well. We're seeing uh, uh, some li high liquidity here being pulled, but look at look at it flip over to 90, 94. Okay, they want to be buyers now down up here at 94. Okay, and we're coming down to test those guys now too. All right, so all sorts of stuff going on here, and it's going to help your trading tremendously to able to be able to use that dome uh, on much higher time frames. All right, Jason, we'll get to your question now. The uh, um, uh, CVD here, okay, cumulative volume delta, very very simple indicator. All it does is record and plot uh, the uh, transactions. If the transaction uh, is a market buy, let's say for 10, well then your cumulative volume delta would, would read positively 10, okay? Now let's say sellers jump in, okay? And let's say there's uh, eight contracts that sell at, at market, okay? That's always at market, okay, the aggressor. Uh, well, then the cumulative volume would read positive two. It just adds them together, okay? And let's say the next transaction is, um, is for uh, for four, okay? So we're positive two, uh, and then a selling selling of four, okay? 
Well, now the cumulative volume is going to read negative 2. Okay, and that's it. Uh, how that can determine or help you uh, is to able is to understand the kind of pressure uh, who's in control in some of these areas. All right, and uh, so we can read it. Okay. Okay. Well, there's all sorts of ways of reading the uh, cumulative volume delta, uh, and um, it's um, uh, yeah. I'm not going to go into that. I'll just go into the the basics of uh, what is displaying. Uh, how to read it, um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, 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 there's a video for it, in fact. Uh, so let me, uh, let me bring that video up, and uh, I'll provide that link for you guys. Okay, so we'll just go to Features and Components, click on this playlist here, okay, and you'll see all the different videos. Uh, and let me give you the cumulative volume delta. Here. Okay. So I'll put it in the chat for you. There you go. And uh, that's that. All right, guys. So uh, if you are a current customer, then um, uh, join us in the next webinar. It's going to start in just a minute. Um, for the uh, advanced order flow uh, webinar. Uh, if not, then uh, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow at uh, 10 th 1030 Eastern. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming.